Hello everyone and welcome to my new dolly paint video. And today guys I've decided to continue sort of a mini series of dolls inspired by Disney characters. In my last video I've repainted the big Ursula styling doll hat and gosh that doll turned out simply gorgeous really. Ursula is 100% the best big styling doll hat I've ever repainted here on this YouTube channel. And today I've decided to make Princess Belle from Beauty and the Beast. Somehow I've never made this Disney print. One time I repainted the big styling hat of Belle, but I've never made a regular Monster High doll version of this Disney princess, so let's do it today. My mom will help me with her dress because you know Belle has this giant gorgeous dress and I think that my mom will make it better than myself because she's simply better at dress making than me. And the rest I will do myself. I will take some old Monster High doll, I will remove all her makeup, clothes, hair, everything. I will get a clean canvas and then I will create my own version of Princess Bell. I think it will be fun, so let's start this project. Of course, before we begin, please don't forget to subscribe to my channel, hit the bell button to get notified about my new doll repaint videos. I upload new doll makeovers or every week Friday or every second week Friday, depends on the size of the project mostly. Yeah, and of course, please uh, hit a like button if you enjoy things that I make here on my YouTube channel. So, this being said, let's start working. So, I've decided to use this Draculora doll as a model for this makeover because I think her face shape is quite similar to Belle's and Draculara's always look super cute after a makeover. So, let's work on this doll today. Now, let's remove her original features and then we'll start the makeover. step of our transformation will be hair rerouting. Belle has golden brown hair that is not too dark so I think this will be a good shade this saran hair and now we'll cover her head with brown acrylics and then I will give her a bunch of new hair using my rerouting tool. Thank you. 
And this is the result of my work a couple of hours later. I am running a little bit low on tacky glue, so I will use this fabric glue instead to fix her hair inside of the head. It's supposed to be even better because it's water resistant. So let's use this glue and then I will let it dry for a couple of days. While it was drying, I finished my Ursula doll, so now I can start drawing Belle's new face. I've sealed her face with Mr. Super Clear sealant, and now you can see me applying green pastels to her face to neutralize the pink skin tone. I can go with light pinks and light nudes colors as usually. When the skin tone is changed, I sketch her eyes and eyebrows, and after this I can apply shadows, highlights and blush using soft pastels. And my favorite ones are from a brand Pan Pastels. When I'm done with contouring, I can start bringing in the color. Belle has hazel eyes, that is quite a rare and very beautiful eye color. A mix of green and brown colors. So let's try to draw it on this very tiny scale. I think her hazel eyes turned out really beautifully on my big styling Belle doll head. There you know the scale is bigger and I could show everything much better. But anyway, let's try to do it also on this tiny scale. And she also has juicy berry lips, so that's the plan for today.
Okay, I think the face looks good. Now let's blush her body to match the face. And then we'll see how my mom is doing there with the dress. So the biggest part of this dress is of course the skirt. It has layers upon layers upon layers, really very beautiful and this is exactly what my mom is making in this video. And this is how beautiful this package looked when it arrived from my mom. Really so cute. Check out this paper. Really adorable. I absolutely love it. And this is the dress. It looks even better than the packaging. Really made out of natural silk. I think this is just a piece of art. I absolutely adore it. Check it all out. Really all the layers, skirts, underskirts. And the color is also so beautiful, so rich, simply gorgeous. So guys, don't forget to subscribe to my mom's Instagram. Uh, her Instagram is really prettier than mine. I'm not joking now. I feel ashamed. I must do something about it. So subscribe to my Instagram as well. Uh, so, and as you can see, my mom also made very cute yellow underwear and a pair of stockings. Super adorable, so let's put it all on the doll. So and now I need to make a pair of shoes to match the fancy dress and I will start with making a pair of heels out of Warbler Thermoplastic. I warm it up to make it soft and sticky, then I shape the shoes around the doll's feet and then I will wait for a couple of minutes for it to cool down and to become hard plastic again.
This is what I've made so far and now I want to cover the top of it with golden glitter. Very sparkly, very pretty, beautiful. So the soles, I want to be black. And then I will decorate the front of the shoes with a red rose made out of gel nail polish. Why not? <laughs> I love using nail art supplies and doll making, so it will work here as well. And this is, by the way, the nail polish that I use on my nails nowadays. <laughs> are finished. Check it out guys, I think they look very beautiful, matching the dress. Anyway, nobody will ever see them under the dress, but they're there and they're beautiful. So now I think she needs a red rose and I will sculpt the rose out of clay. I don't know, I just feel like sculpting a rose today, <laughs> why not? I kind of feel inspired. So let's play with it. Check it out guys, how oh, beautiful, now let's bake it in the oven for 30 minutes. And 
and I think it turned out absolutely lovely. Check out my rose, beautiful. Now let's add a stem and some leaves made out of foam paper and then I think we're done. Super cute, check it out, check out my rose, I really love this tiny detail and the last thing I still need to do today is to style her hair, so let's go! I've used a lot of styling products to style her bangs and now I fix it all with brushes to let it dry in this position. I added a golden ribbon around this bun on top of her head. I think it looks absolutely lovely. So now let's curl the rest of her hair.
While her curls are cooling down and setting for a little bit, I have a moment to apply gloss to her eyes and lips and also to attach golden earrings. After that I can remove the clips, fluff up the curls and then we will be able to enjoy the end result pictures. So guys, this is my finished bell doll and I think she turned out absolutely stunning. My mom's dress is of course in the middle of attention here, just another masterpiece, I absolutely love it. The fabric, the shape, the way it looks, really everything is just perfect, perfect, perfect. But you know, the face, hair, accessories are also good I think, or not bad at least. I think she looks very cute, but at the same time very strong and you can see that she has some character. It's a pity we cannot really see the shoes, but you know, they're beautiful as well. And you know, I especially love this tiny clay rose. I think it looks really good. You know, I've been really into making things out of clay lately. I think it's a lot of fun. So guys, and now you tell me what you think about my version of Belle. Please don't forget to subscribe to my mom's Instagram and to my Instagram as well. And also please don't forget to send my mom some love. I think she absolutely deserves it with this dress. And if you want to buy this doll, she's available right now for sale on eBay for 5 days. The link you will find in the description box under this video. So and that was it, that was my doll transformation of the week, I really hope you enjoyed it today and if so please guys don't forget to support my art here on YouTube with your likes, of course subscribe to my channel, hit the bell button to get notified about my new doll repaint videos and I will see you soon in my next doll makeover, I don't know yet, maybe next week Friday, maybe in two weeks. Let's see, because I'm working on a bunch of projects, including Halloween specials, so you know it's a little bit difficult to predict when everything will be done, but you know, in two weeks is the latest. So, love you guys, have a nice weekend, bye!